Okay, in the last video we installed WordPress on the root domain. This time I want to install it in a directory. So all we need to do is go back into our control panel and click on the Fantastico Deluxe icon and we'll be taken to a new screen where we can install WordPress. And just like last time we go to the screening and uh, we click on WordPress and on the next screen we'll be given the option of installing a new installation and we click on that link and we choose our domain from the drop down menu if you've got more than one um, it was niches monthly that I installed on so now I still want my WordPress site on the root of the domain but this is if I want to add a blog or perhaps a demonstration site or just another site altogether and I'm trying to save some money. In my case I want to add a demo site. So I'm going to call my demo site demo and this is where I'll put a demonstration of the items that are in Niches Monthly. And I'm also going to install WordPress on that. So I'll have WordPress on my main site and WordPress in a directory called demo. If this was, um, for example, say you had a health niche and you had a site all about health stuff, you might also want to do a blog um, just about day-to-day -day things that don't really fit on your main site. And you could install that in a directory called blog, if you like, or blog on health, whatever you like. You can just put whatever you like here in the directory and it will automatically be created for you. You don't need to make a folder or anything. You just need to name it. So I've named mine demo, you might want to call yours blog or anything else. And just like before we need to give ourselves a uh, username and password for the WordPress dashboard. So I'm going to call mine um, admin, a very useful password called demo. And down here we need to do an email again just like we did last time. I'm going to use the same email and this is if I just want to blog using a um, desktop blogging program like Windows Live Writer etc. I can just blog from my desktop. So I'm going to name the new site Niches Monthly Demo that will be installed in the directory. The Email address is info at niches monthly and remember I forwarded that to my Hotmail account. I've got an admin name. You don't really need to fill in the tagline. You can do both of these fields from the WordPress dashboard if you want to change them. And this part here is really if you just want to blog um, via email which is very convenient especially if you've got an iPhone or something like that so you can blog on the run and now we just click the button to install WordPress and now we can just finish our installation we're on step number two just click the button to finish installation and we've installed WordPress and just like last time I'm going to send the details of the WordPress admin username and password to my own email account and that's all.